Hi, this is John Craig with Performance Plus Tennis, and in today's video, I'm going to teach you how to improve your tennis game from home. Before we get started in today's lesson, just a brief mention about the coronavirus and the crisis that we're all facing. Certainly a very difficult and interesting time in, in our history. I hope that you're all doing well and taking all the safe precautions to stay well. And you know, for me, this time at home has been interesting for me to you know, work on some projects and do things I haven't had time to do normally. And I hope the same for you. And I hope that the lessons here that I'm going to give you, the next couple of lessons, are going to be really valuable to help you improve your tennis game and get ready to get back on the court when the time comes. And if you stick around until the end, we have a couple of extra bonuses for you. We have a free gift that we're going to tell you about at the end of the video. And then we also have a bonus lesson that is available usually only for our VIP members that we're making available for you. First up, we're going to work on shadow stroking on the ground strokes. And if you have a mirror or a sliding glass door or a window that has a reflection that you can use, that will be very, very helpful. Looking in a mirror will really help you see your strokes and intuitively you'll be able to improve your movements just by watching yourself. So I have a reflective device off to the left here that I'll be using as I work on my strokes, but just, just warm up and just take nice, easy strokes on the forehand, the backhand side, and just work on feeling the stroke, feeling the stroke. And you can close your eyes because when you close your eyes, that enhances the feel of what you're doing. So you can do that, I would say do 20, 25 on the forehand and then go through you know, 20 to 25 on the backhand. And when you're doing this, the tendency is to get a little sloppy, maybe get a little aggressive and, and, and over swing. Just feel what you're doing, feel and try to build a tempo in your swing that feels realistic if you were playing so we don't overplay. Close the eyes, feel your stroke, feel yourself come into contact and then accelerate through contact. So you start to really work on the skill of rhythm and timing of the acceleration in your swing. You can accomplish so much with this that will really translate to your play back on the court. So do a lot of shadow swings. And once you've warmed up your strokes a little bit, you can introduce a lot of variables that are we commonly do on the tennis court. One in particular are the contact points. And in one of the videos here that we recently did here on our YouTube channel was on forehand contact points and how to find those contact points. So now that I've warmed up a little bit, I can actually create these scenarios in my mind where I'm playing mediums. Come back, pick up a low contact, play a high contact. I can use different stances as I'm doing this from an open stance to a neutral stance to a semi-open stance to a dynamic open stance and you can just really play with this. You can combine your stances, your contact points and create this rhythm, this connection between your footwork and your swing work that really will help you play so much better tennis. Now that I've got my strokes warmed up, I'm going to work on the skill of blending together my footwork and my swing work playing both forehands and backhands. And you can see I have cones out here that are actually marking my imaginary contact points. So I'm going to go through a 10 shot sequence where I'm really trying to get the rhythm and the flow of my game just as if I'm playing. So what I'm really practicing here is rhythm, balance, flow on the court, connecting my footwork and my swing work together to create an athletic movement that creates natural, easy energy. And if you keep practicing this, it will just show up when you get back on the court. This is a great exercise. And what I recommend you do is you play a 10 shot sequence and then you take a 20 second break and then go to another one and do that five or six times so you start to simulate what would you be doing in a real match situation. And this is going to help you maintain your fitness level during this downtime when you're not on the court. 
You can also work on movement to all the common areas on the court where we generally play a lot of shots. So in this particular case, I've got four different stations set up, and I'm just going to get into a movement pattern to play all these balls, and I'm going to play all of them with the forehand. So I'm going to move out, play the medium distance away, move in, come back, run around, get an inside out forehand, come back, move in, go back, Come back, play, move, move, play a forehand, keep moving, and carry on. And this will help you really work again on developing good footwork, good rhythm, good balance and flow into all the common areas on the court. And you can do this, of course, for both forehands and backhands. Next up, we're going to work on volleys, and we're going to begin by playing some self volleys, and then we're going to move and play against a wall. But to get your volley warmed up, just get your continental grip, get into the same posture you'd want to play a forehand volley from, place the ball up, and just control that ball for a few minutes. See how many times you can just keep that ball going up off the strings. And what often happens when we're doing this is we lose the distance. So if you lose the distance, rather than changing the form of your arm and getting all out of shape here and out of form, try to maintain your posture and your form. And if you have to move your feet, to keep the distance, move your feet. And it's actually even helpful to move your feet and create movement so that you can actually simulate what you're going to do when you're adapting to a ball in your volley. Okay? So this is a great skill to work on to get your volleys warmed up. And now that I've warmed up with my self volleys, I'm going to move the exercise to the wall. And fortunately here, I have a space on the side of my garage which is perfect for practicing my volleys at home. I'm going to start out nice and slow, place the ball up nice and high so I've got a little time to play with it, and then gradually as my timing and my confidence gets better, the speed of the ball will move quicker and the interval will become a little bit shorter. And that's a great way to practice the forehand volley. And of course you can practice the same exercise on the backhand volley as well. And once again, I'm gonna start out nice and slow, get a feel, and try to maintain consistency control as my priority. This is a lot of fun. I could do this for a long time and have a real blast with it and really challenge myself. It's great for trying to keep your eye on the ball, tracking the ball in, moving your feet if you need to, keeping the hands in front. You know the ball's coming back, so you don't have time to swing. So it really makes a lot of the fundamentals of the volley really come together. And as a final exercise in the volley sequence, and it's a challenging one, is to work on playing alternating volleys against the wall. So I'm going to try to play forehands to backhands to forehands to backhands and so forth. So not only does this require me to have good racketed control, but also it's going to help my transition skills from side to side. And because the intervals are so short, I'm going to have no time to swing. So it's going to keep everything so compact, it's really going to help me when I get back on the court. So have fun, get out and practice, work on these skills, improve your volleys, improve your ground strokes, and really make the most of your extra time at home to improve your tennis game. I hope you really enjoyed the lessons today and that you will practice these skills and really benefit from the exercises that I presented here and really work on your tennis skills when you're at home. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, give us a like, leave your comments down below, and if you have a particular topic you'd like us to cover, please let us know. We'd be happy to cover that for you. And don't forget to click on the link below to gain access to our free library of lessons on our website where we cover all the fundamental principles that you need to hone and master to achieve your full potential in tennis. Also in the description down below is access to our proprietary professional warm-up routine which is typically only available for our VIP members. But during this time, 
I want to extend this warm-up program routine to everyone so you can be practicing at home, learning this routine, memorizing it, so you can take it to the court when you get back on the courts. Thank you so much for watching the video today, and we'll see you in the next video. In the meantime, take care, be safe, and we'll see you soon. Thank you.